Hey there, geeks. Tim with MajorGeeks.com. Today we're going to show you how to reset a Windows Store app in Windows 10. Really, really easy to do. And there's two ways to do it. The basic way and the, oops, everything didn't work, so i got to do it the hard way. So let's start out, which should work for all of you. Go ahead and click on Start. And you'll click on Settings. Then you'll click on Apps. And now that your apps, you'll be under the category Apps and Features right here. And you'll scroll down. There's your list of apps, assuming it's not one of the optional things, optional features. And find something, let's say, let's just start right at the top with calculator. If you wanted to uninstall it, you could do that right here and save yourself a step. Let's go to advanced. And then you have a couple of options, reset or uninstall. If you uninstall the app, you're going to have to go to the Microsoft Store and reinstall the app if you want it back. Let's click reset. As you see, you're going to delete the app's data. And you click on reset. And once you see your checkpoint, you're all set. Now you can try and see if the app worked. Again, similarly, sim I don't know if you've watched my videos, I can't get the word similarly out. Once again, you can uninstall it. Same thing, you just click it. And of course, now you'd have to go to the Windows Store to get the calculator back. All right, so let's take a look at a more difficult way. Let's say this is grayed out or the options aren't here for you. We can do this using PowerShell. A little more complicated, but not too tough. Press your Windows key plus X and click on PowerShell as admin. And I'm going to once again shrink this box down so we can see a little everything going on here. Now, what you want to do is you want to find the app name. So highlight this code right here. I'll provide a link under the little I. It should show up around here somewhere. You click the I, follow through, and it'll take you to this page. Right-click and choose Copy. And what we're going to do is we're basically going to get a list of all your apps. Press Control-V in PowerShell and press Enter. And there are all your apps. Now for the fun stuff. All you need to know is this code right here, but we're going to replace package name with the package name. Here are the names right here. Some are short, some are long. As you can see, here's the list of everything. So let's take the wallet, for example. So if we wanted to remove the wallet, we know it's Microsoft, period, wallet, one word. So it's kind of important in PowerShell that you type it correctly. Let me hit enter and get us where we need to be. Where is it here? Uh, such a long list. All right, here we are. So in other words, you could actually probably type this. It's not too hard. We want to get get dash app x package. Stop right there. Copy it. Paste that. Whoops. Now we're going to hit the space and we're going to type in the name. Was that Windows Wallet? I think it was. Probably. Then we're going to hit space again. And then now we're going to get the rest of this. And that includes this colon. So we're going to want this right here so I already have the space in there so I can just do control V and that should work cross your fingers there you go so that's one way to uninstall something if it's grayed out you can always get it done one way or the other typically you'll see a green box that was so fast I didn't see it usually a real quick green flash up here when you do that but so there you go just be careful when you do it and make sure you know the two codes that's all you need to know there's your list. Find the name of the app you want to remove right here. Again, that's going to be completely, just so you see again, under name. Then, again, copy that, space, the name of the package that we just discussed right here. Then, another space, and copy that in there. And I use an example right here. And actually, I use the Microsoft Wallet, so there you go just like that. There you have it. That is how you can reset an app that's giving you trouble in Windows 10. As always, in the bottom right-hand corner, Major Geeks logo pops up around here somewhere. And if you click on that, you can click on subscribe, which is always appreciated by us as we try and slowly grow. And we appreciate you watching, as always. See ya.